What is overlanding? What's up guys? I'm going to do a quick how-to video because I realized I couldn't find very many of them. It's not a big topic. It's actually something fairly simple, but a lot of people don't seem to know how this works out. So, what you're looking at is the hub assembly, the front hub assembly of a 97 Land Cruiser. And if you've got a Land Cruiser, you're very familiar with this particular socket, correct? Toyota gives you two, two, two nuts and a star washer to hold these in place. Now, if you followed my channel, you realize that I drive across the country in my lifted 37-inch tired supercharged 80 series quite often and when I do this I go to uh, I go to places like Moab, Uari, Death Valley, etc. to go four wheeling and on more than one occasion I've noticed that my wheel bearings have loosened up you see what I mean so I've decided to swap them out for a set of trail gear chromoly chromoly locking locking nuts. Now here's the thing. Toyota gives you two 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 nuts and a star washer. Trail gear gives you one nut that's drilled that has two millimeter Allen heads or number twos. They're incredibly small that lock it all in place. Now, I just did it on the other side, and it seems like it's a pretty damn good setup. So I'm going to guess you know how to take apart your hub if you're actually even considering something like this, and I'm going to skip over that. But if you don't know how to service your front hubs, go to the YouTube channel, O-Tram, O-T-R-A-M-M. -M. He just did a phenomenal 51-minute video on how to completely service your front burr fields, and that will take care of that. Now, two things. This basically applies to pretty much any straight axle Toyota, not just Land Cruisers. Take it apart. And here's a quick update. The two set screws that Trail Gear give you, you're going to want to replace them with these because the heads hit the inside of the drive flange and shear themselves off. So go to Home Depot, Ace Hardware, whatever, and grab yourself four of these. M3 by 0.50 by 10. Four of these to replace these. Because again, the drive flange can wear the head off and you won't be able to get a Allen wrench in there. But that's it. It's a, it's a dollar fix. Okay, I got the two nuts off. There's one other thing in here is that you've got a washer from the factory that you're gonna wanna pull out because Trail Gear gives you an extra one. Or a new one, I'm sorry, how about that? They give you a nice new one. So get this bad boy out. It might take a little finagling. Trail Gear gives you a nice new one with their Trail Gear Chromoly set. So you simply slide this one in. Go and find your incredibly small Allen wrench that Trail Gear does not supply. Which is really lame. And then you'll notice that you've got two set screws. Unscrew these, and if you wear glasses like I do, put them in a magnetic tray. And leave them in the magnetic tray. 
and go to Home Depot or Ace and get the correct size. Here's the SKU number and everything. So there's two, number two millimeter, I think, two really small set screws with two really small lock nut, uh, lock washers on them. Now what you want to do is put your, put the new nut, which is much thicker than the factories. You put your new nut on the spindle. There you go. Just threading right on nice. Put this in the magnetic tray. Spin this thing on. I'm gonna crank it down to 44 foot pounds. Okay, so I got the new trail gear nut on. I'm gonna crank it down to 44 foot pounds. Okay, there we go. 44 foot pounds. Go by eye, do what you feel. Now that's really, really tight. I can feel it right off the bat. But I'm gonna do this a couple few times, back and forth, back and forth. Now I'm gonna loosen it up. Loosen it up. Okay. That's nice and loose, so now I'm going to set the torque wrench at 24 pounds. That's where men smarter than myself told me to do it. I know you can do it, you know, by hand and hand tight and so forth. 24 foot pounds. is not very much. And there we go. Now, you take the outer ring that trail gear gives you and you slide it right on the notch in your spindle. Just like that. There we go. And what that does, instead of having that star washer that's always bending around, so forth and so on, you've got Allen heads locking it into place. Now, so there you go. Easy enough saves a lot of headaches and it locks your nut in place so instead of having the two factory lock nuts and star washer you have one ring two set screws and a really beefy washer so there's that links to buy one will be in the description Richie from Boston for jailbreak overland and I am out